Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the Sudoku Tudes set of puzzles. This is set three, and this is puzzle three, so we've got a lot of threes in this one. But there'll be nine threes in the grid because of the rules of Sudoku. This is a sum lines puzzle. I thought this one was a little bit trickier than my testers thought it did. They rated it as an easy puzzle, so um, that's where I'm positioning, positioning it in the pack. I trust my testers. So let's have a look at Toboggan by Bremster. Now, of course, there'll be a link below to where you can solve this puzzle for yourself. Um, but um, yeah, let's have a look at the rules. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got the sum line rules, which is the box borders, of course, the borders between box one, box two, box three. So these thick lines split the lines into sections. So this is what on this diagonal line, This um, these two cells are in one section, this cell is in a different section, and these two cells are in a different Different section. The digits on those sections must sum to the same value. So the digits put in yellow will sum to the same sum as the digit put in purple, which will sum to the same sum as the digits put in green. That's how sum lines work. Um, so they're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So one thing we can tell straight away is this digit has the same sum as that digit. So those must be the same digit. And we can actually narrow down a little bit what it can be because these three cells sum to the same as that single digit. So what can these be? Well, the minimum we could put in there is one, two, three. And if you add one, two, three, you get to six. So these have to be at least six. So they're six, seven, eight, and nine. But they can't be eight because this cell sees an eight and they are the same digit and they can't be nine. So these have to be six or seven. Now, the only way to sum to six is with one, two, three. And the only way to sum to seven is by increasing one of those digits by one from one, two, three, which would, and I couldn't increase the one without having two twos, and I couldn't increase the two without having two threes. So the only way to do it, um, seven is one, two, four. So there must be a one and a two on this line, and it must be one, two, three, four. But I can't put the one in any of those those cells. So this must be the one, and this must contain a two and a three or a four. Um, now we've got two in here and or oh, that means one is in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Two is here and two is here. So two is somewhere down here. It's not going to paint a mark in three locations yet, but that is what's happening here. Now this has the same properties. Those are the, I'll use green instead. Those are the same digit um, and they must be six, seven, eight or nine, but they can't be six because that one can't be six and they can't be seven. So these are only eight or nine and the eight is looking down, meaning both of those are nine. So I can immediately uncolor them. So these sum to nine and there's three ways of getting to um, nine. The first way is if I you what if I don't use a one, the only way to do it is two, three, four. Um, but if I do use a one, there's two ways of doing it. I could use a one, and then I need two digits that would sum to eight. I couldn't use one seven because I've already used a one. I could use two six three five. I couldn't use four four because I can't use two five. So it'd be two six or three five. So if I use a one, it'd be one three. Oh, if I don't use a one, it's two three four, and it would be two here because I can't put a two in any of those. A three here and a four here, because there's nowhere else I could put them. I couldn't do one, two, six. So the only other option is one, three, five. So the three must go here, and these could also be one, five, but they're the only possibilities, but it does mean there must be a three here. I don't remember how to solve this puzzle. Four by Sudoku must be in one of those two cells. Three must be in one of those two cells. So there is a three on this line. Even better than that. Okay, let's do some Sudoku on eights. Eight must be in one of those two. But nine by Sudoku isn't in any of those cells. Nine is in one of those two. And because nine is in one of those two, there is a nine on this section of line. And that section has the same sum as that section has the same sum as that section has the same sum as that section. And we know over here, it's got a three on it. But these could be low, but we know there's a nine on the section over here. 
there is a seven in one of those two. If that was a seven, this would have to be a nine because this digit is the sum of those two digits and this would have therefore have to be larger than seven and it can't be eight. So if that's a seven, that's a nine. Nine can't be in any of those because of these two nines. So nine is in one of those two. And whatever that digit is can't be in any of those. So it's in one of those two. I can see nine is up here. Ah, nine is now in one of those two because of that nine. Nine in this box? It's in one of those two? Nine, oh no, but nine in this box. That nine removes nine from there. That nine removes nine from there. Nine is in one of those two, meaning that's not the nine, that's the nine. Okay. Okay. I trusted my testers. Eight in this box. I can't put eight on a three cell line summing to nine. So eight isn't down here. Eight is in one of those two, which means this is a seven, eight pair now because I seven can't go in those and those and eight can't go in those or those. So this is actually a seven, eight pair, which means this must be a nine. Because this has to be larger than, because this is seven or eight plus something. So if this was seven, uh, this is a seven or an eight plus whatever that cell is. So this has to be larger than that cell and it can't be a seven or an eight. That is the nine. This isn't the nine. That looks up saying that's not the nine. That's the nine. Looking across saying that's not the nine. That's the nine. Saying that's not the nine. That's the, no, 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 no. That's not the nine. That's the nine. And I think that's all the nines. But if this is a nine, it's either seven plus two or eight plus one. So this is a one or a two now. And these are from one, two, four, five. Oh, th where's four? Where's four in this row now? I can't put four in any of those. There's already a four in the box. That's the four. Three, four means that is the two. And these are one. I've got two, three, four, one, and five. These are one and five. The one is looking down, making that the five and that the one. And these are two and six. That's cool. But these have to sum to nine. They can't be one eight because I can't put one or eight in that cell. If they're two seven, it's seven here and two here. If it's three six, it's three here and six here. It can't be four five because I can't put four or five in there. So these are the only possibilities. There's no four there. Oh, there's no four here. These two fours eliminated four from this right at the beginning. These have been six from the start. That would have made this puzzle easier, wouldn't it? The six is looking down, making that the two and that the six, which looks up making that the two, which means this has to be the seven. That would have sped things up. Seven in this box now can't be in those or those. That's the seven. This is a triple. Two, three, and six. There's no two there. There's no six there. So these, in this row, I've got one, two, they're three, five, and six. And I can't put three in either of those. That, because of the two threes looking into those cells. That's the three, that's the two, that's the six. These are now one, two, three, four, five, six. And the six is looking up, making that the five and that the six. Now, this digit has to be higher than five. But if this, so what can this be? Because this, hang on, I've broken this puzzle. This is wrong. No, hang on, it's not wrong. No, it's not wrong. I, I why did I just check? I did. I I saw something and wait. Wait a minute. That can't be what it is. This has to be five plus something. But this is a triple. It's one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are one, five, and eight. But five, five would mean that it'd have to be 10. And five, eight would mean that it'd have to be 13. That's a one. And five plus one means that's a six. Something went wrong in my brain there. So these two digits have to sum to six. Well, the only way to do six is either one plus five, which would be one here and five here, or two plus four, because you can't do three plus three, which would be I can't do two plus four. That cell can't be either two or four. So this is one and five. I don't know why I got lost there. That five makes that the eight and that the five. It, it happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are four and seven. The seven looks up making that the four, which makes that the seven. Okay. Now, where I can put that digit in, that's a seven. So what can I do here? I need to put a two in one of, oh, two Joes right here by Sudoku. So these are three, four, and eight. There's no eight there. There's no three there. Oh, there's no eight in either of those. That's an eight. This is a three, four pair. But now I know the sum of this line. The sum of this line is 17. So I need all of these lines to sum to 17. This is a nine. So to get to 17, these need to sum to eight. Well, I can't use one seven. I can't use two six. These have to be three and five. The five here makes this the three and this the five. The three looks across taking three out of there, making that the three. These sum to nine, but I'm aiming for 17. So I need another eight, which means this is the four, and this is the two that hasn't been placed. The eight looks across saying, that's not the eight, that's the eight. This is the one that hasn't been placed in the box. The eight is looking down, making that the seven and that the eight. In order to get to nine, the seven needs another two. This is an eight, but I'm looking for 17. So these need to sum to nine. I can't use one eight. I can't use two seven. If it was three six, it would be three. I uh, can't be three six. So this is actually a four five pair because I can't use three six because of the three there. And the five is looking down, making that the four and that the five. And the central diamond has been done. The two looks up, making that the three and that the two. Um, and I'm pretty much done, I think. This column is missing a three and a four. The four makes that the three, that's the four, that's the three. This box is missing a one and a six, and the six is making that the one and that the six. This row is missing, it's five. This box is missing a one and an eight, and the eight makes that the one and that the eight. This box, which is the final box in the puzzle, I need to put a four. Can't put it in either of those or there. That's the four. So this is a triple. It's easier to just mark the triple and then eliminate because it's easier to follow. The five comes out of all of those. So this is the five. And then I can use that seven to make that the six and that the seven. And that is the solution to Toboggan by Bremster. Um, I wanted to do to do an introductory sum line puzzle that wasn't just gimme sum lines. I see a lot of introductory sum line puzzles where the, the lines just give you the values. I didn't want to do that. And I thought this was a nice one. And I thought it looked like a, a toboggan um, on the grid. I, th that, I thought this was a bit of a toboggan shape. Maybe I've been watching too much gels, uh, ye yellows, yellows, marble runs. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the sum line puzzle. And as always, Good luck with your solving.